Hey there guys, I am back and I'm very sorry that I've been away for so long but unfortunately sometimes real life comes along and takes you away from your laptop and time to record audio like this without looking like a psycho so I had to postpone a few days recordings but they are in the works, I will eventually catch up when I get a few free days but at the moment if you have watched my videos you know I stay up until ridiculously late doing these anyway so I can't fit four videos into one night. Back to the show. Today we're going to be looking at something a bit different. Instead of me just directly showing you how to make something pretty cool, we're going to be looking at uh, the method I would say helped me really learn Max and learn in unusual uh, programming languages like this one, such as Touch Designer or uh, Processing Arduino, is it's using a tutorial like the ones that I've been making and then building something from that. So for example, this is a version of my MSP Basics, the music loader that we created, and you'll find that video bing, up here. But what I've done is, so let me just play a sound. And what I've done is I've, I've played about and added some musical effects. So we've got a reverb here coming through, depending on how high these dials are. And then we've also bent the sound. So it's getting run through a sine wave. And it's changing the noise. And these two very simple steps allow us to make more than just a loader and a player, but suddenly we're making our own mixing deck or we're, we're making our own sort of sound effects board. So I want you to go away and see if you can do something like this yourself. Uh, you don't need to follow my my idea shoot exactly, so I've got a, a reverb added, and then I call it bending a sound, but it's running through a cycle object. And I want you to go away and play about with Max and see if you can add a cycle and a reverb object between playing your song and then hearing your song. Pause the video here, I would go away, and then in a minute, I'll show you the solution. So, hopefully you went away and you gave it a shot and you managed to get something. It may not be exactly like this, but it, 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 it's, a, it's a, a progress. You're, you're learning how to go out and find objects and learn to adapt to Max without me telling you how to do everything on your own. And if we look at the actual object, the way I did it was fairly simple. So to bend my sound, I added a cycle object that I was controlling with my dial straight away and just multiplying it to my original sound. And that gave us, so a cycle wave gives you a really cool waveform of just, it's basically like a, an up and down motion. And all I did was I controlled how much we cycled this. And by multiplying it, it means it either went from zero to our, our cycle, rather than just adding it where we could still have a value above zero. And then for the reverb, I did something a little different. I used the built-in object called C-verb which is a little built-in patch already. And uh, I just ran a dial into a multiplier to give us a much higher value, turned it into a float. And I didn't need to multiply this one because C-verb does that internally. And then that was it. It was two objects added between our uh, play and our game. And suddenly we started making more than just a, a loader and player. I hope you did try it and hope you did use it. For the next one, we're going to go back to our color tracker. Oh, I look good. So let me just open my camera here. So if you use this, this is my uh, phone recording audio here because it's much better than the microphone on my laptop. So all I've done here is I've taken our tracking coordinates, 
There's a little clue over here to what I did with the tracking coordinates. I find the center point and then I put it into what this is called a pick slider. And with the pick slider, I'm just doing something really cool, which is make, making a note. Uh, another clue. So go away and see if you can do that. If you don't know about this part, click up here for the color tracking tutorial and then go from there see if you can turn your color tracking using the center coordinates into this so the two things you'll need to do are find the center coordinates work out the mass to do that and work out the object to do that hint we use something very similar in finding the top and bottom ranges for our graph and turn those center coordinates into a note simple uh, go. So hopefully you gave that a shot and you managed to get something. Now the cool thing is you don't need to do it the exact same way that I've done it because you're learning. Hopefully you're going out there, you're you're finding materials, you're finding out how to do this yourself. Let's have a look here. So let's bring, let me just search this. Uh, so get our max MSP note from pick slider. We search for a problem and then instantly we're given the Cycling 74 forums. The great thing about this is people are going to be able to paste patches for you. So you can copy these to clipboard or you can see the full thing if you want. This was for 2015, so this was for Max 6. I copy it, I go into Max, create a new window and paste it. Or you can go file new from clipboard and boom. I've got that patch that person wanted to share so I can start learning what they're doing, trying to deal with their problems. This is how I learned how to do Macs, is you just forum creep, Google searches, and a lot of people have already had the same problem that you have, unless you did some crazy GL SL stuff where nobody understands that, so it's fine. So that doesn't solve our problem, but I'm gonna go back. What are our next few results? So I'm trying to replace an LCD with a pick slider. It's pixel to output one-to-one, a non-one-to-one ratio. It's not our problem here. This one here that I've already clicked because I did my research before this video. I'm going to go in here and, oh, picture-based slider control. Suddenly, I can see that this is controlling a MIDI note. It's making a note and it's outputting a note. We don't really need to worry about duration or MIDI channels, but I know that this would work exactly for our project. And that's what I did. So I just have it making a note based on what it's receiving and then outputting that note based on our, uh, our center values. I had to do a bit of work in the inspector to con make sure that this was zero, zero and this was uh, 320240. And then inside color tracking, we had to write a new expression. So uh, as I was saying, we had done something very similar where we used V expression to get a vector expression of three points. But this time I knew we just needed one expression. So we use the expression, which is if you ever do any program at all to get center points, this is bread and butter, the maximum, take away the minimum, divide it by two, and then add that to your minimum again. So you're, let's say this was 10, this was five, that's a five difference divided by two, that's 2.5. So suddenly add 2.5 to five, and that gives us 7.5 our center point. You do that twice, pack them together and send them as a value. And lucky for us, pick slider can in its first value, both values at once. So I put in two values together and suddenly it's controlling it. So those were really, really basic additions, but I hope it's the idea of learning how to use Max that uh, learning how to develop in Max. It's about going out and finding the solutions yourself, not just watching tutorials over and over. So things like the Cycling 74 forums your help or Googling your exact problem and find addressing or prepending it with Max MSP 
and then your exact problem will always come back to a second seventy four reference. And nine out of ten times, it'll be someone that's had your problem before. I, uh, even if it just gives you the theory you need to be able to fix them or get to the solution you need, I know many times that I've found someone that's had a very similar problem and they've addressed it one way, and I've been like, actually, if he's doing it that way, I can do it this way. Boom. That's how you start writing your own programs and not just copying other people's work.